My name is Skylar White, yo. Like, what the fish? Um, yeah, uh, audio quality is probably gonna be f terrible. I'm on a whole nother level, I'm geeky. Look, I did the best I could, but... This is the best we're gonna get. Second thing, whenever I cook over the pan, typically... It's probably very f loud, and that, that's the reason why I'm not doing it. <laughs> it is fine, uh, smoke alarm might go off, and then smile. What else? See, this is why you write scripts, so you don't have to sit here and... Think of shit on the fly. Okay, so originally, this was meant to be literally just me writing a recipe for... <laughs> what? I'm lazy, so I decided to not write a recipe, and then in turn, I decided f it, I'll just record myself cooking, which in turn turned out to be more work than just f writing it out. Um, so... I'm not the f cool. It's like two minute noodle bullshit, so needless to say, it's not healthy. <laughs> It is just meant to be kind of like once in a while, random cheat meal that's kind of like greasy food and it's good and it tastes good and it's nice. It's not meant to be anything properly culinarily cooked. So a lot of the shit that you're going to see and a lot of shit that I'm going to do today isn't going to be like Michelin star master chef. Fucking shit! Camera angles are going to be scuffed. I'm recording this on a C922. <laughs> C922. <laughs> also, I'm gonna say it now because I know it's gonna come up. I know, you, I know you're gonna comment, f talk or whatever the f Okay, okay, chit the nail polish to sh on them. I don't care. I like that sh I think it looks f great. Suck my- No. No, I don't think I will. Okay, for this concoction, you want noodles of your choice. It doesn't matter. You can do chicken, you can do beef, you can do whatever the f you want. It does not matter. Onions. Important. You want carrots. You can do carrots, or you can do zucchini. Zucchini is gonna be a bit more mushier. Oh! So if you don't like mushy texture and shit like that, you don't want to do zucchini spinach. You want garlic or jarlic? I'm lazy today, so I'm just doing jarlic. It's fine. It doesn't really f matter. Okay, it doesn't matter. Fresh garlic is better. It's gonna be more pungent. It's gonna be strong. It's gonna be better. But as I said, if you are lazy, like me, jarlic. You just do jarlic. <laughs> Butter, because we're gonna be using eggs. I don't have the eggs out because I don't want the warm up. Spices. Generally, I have sweet and hot paprika and then chili as well. But we're out of those. We only have chili and this. Sh <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I don't even know what this is. I don't even know what's in here. I've never looked, but it tastes good. It tastes fine. I use this to season chicken sometimes, sprinkle a tiny bit on steak if I just feel like it, etc. etc. What's what is in this? Salt, rice flour, sugar, paprika, garlic, onion, pepper, celery, coriander, cumin, vegetable oil, cardamom, chili, clove, nutmeg. Um, yeah. <laughs> God, I'm so f good at explaining things. This is why I didn't want to write a recipe. Is because I do not explain things. I do not do measurements. I do not do any of that kind of shit. I just cook. <laughs> You want pepper as well? Uh, you don't want salt for this because a lot of these things are already like noodles, bro. <laughs> Salty ish. And typically, what I don't have today bacon. Bacon or ham. Either works. You can do like chopped up sausages as well if you want, uh, but they add saltiness as well, as long with the noodles and shit. Okay, so. Eggs. No, one of these more the crack. <laughs> Man, um, okay, well, that's great. You can have as many eggs as you want, really. Uh, the highest I've gone is five because I am a pig. <laughs> Today, I'm just gonna be doing three eggs, and then along with that, you want cheese. If you want cheese in it, you want to make like an omelet kind of thing, and then later on, you want to grate a little bit of cheese onto the noodles and shit. So, to get started, first thing you want to do noodles, okay, so you want to crack them into your bowl. It doesn't matter if you crush them. By the way, you don't need to use two packets. You can use one. As I said earlier, I'm just doing two because I am hungry. I am hungry. I'm a hungry hippo right now. You want to put these in. Camera. <laughs> put these more in. And I'll explain stuff to do with them later because you don't want all of the broth, but you want some of it. Uh, it's probably loud as f the kettle. <laughs> I'm still gonna talk though, I don't give a sh. So obviously, cracked eggs, right? You do want a little bit of salt. I know I said no salt earlier, but for eggs, it's like. Uh... I'm a dog. Pepper? God, this grinder is so ass. <laughs> <laughs> this grinding right here is gonna be f time lapsed up the arse. 
Okay, there we go. So you want a fair bit of purple? Mm -hmm. As I said, I'm not measuring because uh, that's... <laughs> I learned from a chef who never measured. Um, and by learnt, I mean watched. So I never, I don't know, I was never taught. <laughs> You want a little bit of chili in your egg as well. Uh, you can do it before, you can do it after when you're cooking it on the pan, or both. I tend to do both. The reason being is because when you do it in the egg like this, it kind of just gets clumped, unless you like spread it a fair bit. But even then, it'll just end up getting clumped in it. Not all the time, but sometimes. But I don't know, I just do it regardless. <laughs> Gives advice to basically not do what I'm doing. Does it anyway. Okay, so, carrots. You want to cut them, right? Not the, not, not the, you want to cut them. Okay, let's put it this way. You don't want them big, but you don't want them tiny small. So you want like that. <laughs> Holy shit, <man. laughs> You know what? It would not be a uh, it would not be a zero video without a little bit of tomfoolery and shittery and probably losing a finger. Wow. Oh my god. Oh my god. Carrot. It's rude. Oh my god. What the fuck are you doing here? Get out of my house. Um. Excuse me. What the actual fuck are you doing in my house? Also, if you didn't know, why the fuck I have a uh, washer down? Because I mean, like, look, I I understand most don't know how to cook and shit like that. So if you have a board that doesn't have rubber, like a plastic board or a wood chopping board, it's gonna slide everywhere, especially on a wood chipboard surface. If it's like this, right? So you want something moist like this to suction it and stick it to the table. <laughs> also, if my chopping skills are kind of ass, it's because A, they are ass, and B, I'm using a very blunt knife. We fucking go. We have like a steel to sharpen it, and I do sharpen them, but a steel can only sharpen as much as a steel can, right? It's way better when you have both a steel and a stone. Am I getting cold by my nan? I mean, give it, it is my birthday, but... Okay, hold up, I'm gonna cut this and I'm gonna answer the phone, okay. Okay, so, did not skip to answer the phone, or even call back. But she left a message, so I replied. I'm very surprised she even called me, because, like, typically I'm asleep at this time, so it's like, you know what I mean? Bro, it is very strange. Cooking, recording the cooking, and then in turn not having music. Because whenever I cook, I always listen to music. Always. Always music blaring in my ears on my speaker out loud, right? Generally, that is the same for any activity I have during the day because it calls the voices within my head smile. So it's very strange. Kind of in a way therapeutic to do this without listening to music. It's simultaneously driving me insane, but it's kind of therapeutic at the same time. So that is everything cut up, I believe. Yippee! Actually, I want to make a coffee. For those of you who don't know coffee, this is a French press. Um, yes. <laughs> Basically, you, you you see what I do. You pour the coffee in here, but you wait a little bit. You don't do it straight away when the kettle is boiled because the, the water is extremely hot and it will burn the grounds generally. Not all the time. Sometimes you have grounds that like higher heat. Oh, brother. Like more tolerable to the higher heat and won't burn as easily as other beans, other grounds of coffee. Um, Because each bean is different. So some beans you want to do at a higher temperature because it brings out different flavors. Um, the world of coffee is nerdy and geeky and kind of amazing. So you see, it's like that much broth, like that kind of level. That's fine. If you don't want that much, then you can drink the broth or like pour some out. But you want to keep some of the broth because you use that when you put the noodles on the pan to cook. Coffee time. I'm not just going to pour it in like full bowl, right? Because if you do that... <sighs> I don't want to get into the nerdy bits of it. Uh, <laughs> basically, the pressure of the water isn't good for the grounds, gives you less taste, is sh <laughs> So you want to do like a fine stream like this, very gentle stream. It's kind of hard with this kettle because it's like a sh kettle to do it with. And you want to move it around. So you get this like small pinpoint pressure on a lot of the grounds on like the surface of it kind of thing and kind of stir with it. This is kind of shoddy. This isn't as good as I typically do. So when you do the low pressure sh you'll see you get a lot more bubbles and a lot of like, nice like cream on top. I'm pretty sure it's like aerating the coffee, right? When you're pouring in a gentle low pressure kind of stream. Uh... Basically make coffee taste better. <laughs> then after all that, you have your press, which I won't angle it because I don't want to f*** it up. But um, press, you press down the coffee slowly after around four to five minutes. I like to push it a little bit longer sometimes because that's just how I like my coffee. <laughs> Let me f fix you right up. <laughs> if, if your pan is bold, just bend it, bro. You don't want it on hot, but you don't want it on medium. You want it banging the f***ing.
bang in the middle. And what you want to do is you want to do your onions first. So I cut them last and they're on top of my carrots so I can separate them. Uh, and you do want some oil. When you cook your onion, you definitely want some oil. By the way, this is normal. This is normal. I do this shit in the kitchen all the time. Like I just move around sporadically and do dumb shit. Especially when I'm listening to music, I'll just start dancing on the spot. And I'm like, oh shit, yeah, I'm cooking. <laughs> Okay, so you want to flip them. It's actually kind of essential. You can flip them the way I flip them with the pan. You can be a fucking flashy motherfucker. Or you can just use your weapon of choice to just flip them over and move them around in the oil so they're somewhat coated with it and they don't stick to the pan. And also it'll help them golden and brown, which is kind of what we want. We don't want them completely golden and brown because we still want kind of that zestiness, sourness that a f onion has, right? I don't know, like three to five minutes, something around that f mark. I don't know times, man. I do not do time. Time does me. Once you've done that, light. <laughs> you wanna, you wanna add the carrot. I'm, I'm doing my coffee now. When you press the coffee, you don't want to go fast. You want to do it slow. So all the coffee grounds that have settled on the bottom stay settled on the bottom. And you don't like freak out the water and make the coffee grounds go all over the place. The only thing I hate about French press is that you don't get the golden top. By golden top, what I mean is when you have a short black made with an espresso machine, generally you have like a cream on top, even if it's a black coffee with no cream added, no milk added. So it's kind of getting there. Like, you can see some of them are... There's one there that's like a tiny bit golden. Did you see? Yeah, so basically with the coffee is you have a golden cream top, even on a black coffee, that is just like, I think it's just bubbles, it's just air, right? Basically the stuff you saw in this before I, I pressed it down, that's the thing with the press, when you press it down, you don't get that when you pour the coffee. You don't, you don't get that good shit. That's like my favorite part, man. You don't get it. Beep, 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 beep. While that's doing its thing, your chili, your garlic and stuff. Me, I can tolerate spice pretty well. Bro, no way. Um, taste-wise and other shit wise generally, but my stomach doesn't like to because I have acid reflux and it reacts to spicy things and alcohol. You can't keep getting away with it! <laughs> Using a grinder over a fry pan, like a steamy surface, it's not good because it will generally clump things up. It doesn't matter too much with pepper, I don't think, but with things like salt and other kind of powdery things, it'll make it clump and stick together. So if you have that problem, that's why. <laughs> or you just live in a humid place. So with the garlic, you definitely want to mix it up. Mmm. Mm. a little bit spicy. Oh, that's good though. My stomach's not gonna like that, but that's good. Um, cool. Spice is done. Jarlic is done. The entire thing, like everything cooked together, is quite mushy. As I said at the start, if you add zucchini, it's even more so. So, in general, if you don't like to eat mushy things texture-wise, maybe not for you. It might be because it's not too bad because you have the noodles. Because you have the noodles. Uh, so it kind of like masks it, you know what I mean? But then if you have the bacon, it's kind of crunchy. Um, so typically, you would have your bacon cut up small like you did the carrots and stuff. You would generally put that in now. And you just let that cook for a while till like the carrots are cooked through. Then uh, you do not add the spinach. The spinach is the last thing you add, literally after everything. Okay, so it's like cooked through. It's like a little bit crunchy, but like to the point where it's cooked. Now you're gonna be quick. I should have said that. I should have said that before. And you wanna be really quick here. Uh, you want extra cheese grated because you're going to add that onto the pan at the very, very, very end. It might hiss at you. Huh? That's because there's broth in there. There's like a little bit of broth on the bottom. You cook that for a little bit. It's hot, but it tastes good, man. It's not even like insanely good. Like, it's not gourmet food good. You know what I mean? It's like, it's sh food good. This is my McDonald's. You know what I mean? Y'all have McDonald's and shit like that. I never get like fast food. I, I never do that. So this is basically my equivalent. This. Homemade. <laughs> okay, now you want to add your spinach? <laughs> Switch the heat off. Very last thing. The cheese! This is just like a sh junk food meal, so you don't want to use like a really nice Swiss cheese, like a gruyere or like a snake bite or raclette and stuff like that. You, you don't want to do that. You just want like a ch cheddar cheese. And then you're good. Oh my god, there's actually so much here. Holy no, I spilled the tiniest bit. Oh 
There's gonna be a little bit of mukbang. So if anyone doesn't want to listen to that, switch your sound off for the next like 10 seconds. I don't know if my mic picked that up. We'll see. It's good. The shit is still crunchy. Like the carrots and shit, they're not soggy. They're not mushy. They're still a bit crunchy. So this is gonna be the end. We fucking got him. <laughs> I'm going to take a photo because I'm gonna post on Twitter and be like, oh my god, I recorded. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, Inception. <laughs> I like how all of this began. All of this, this entire video, everything, it all started because I was lazy and didn't want to write a recipe. So instead, I hauled my computer into my kitchen, into my lounge room, my monitor, my mic, my camera, <laughs> my keyboard, my mouse, my headset. All of that sh I hauled it out here and then recorded an entire video of me cooking the f meal I could have just took five minutes to write a recipe for. Huh. Anyway, thank you for joining me for the past hour and 20 minutes. It's not going to be an hour and 20 minutes for you because I will edit this sh out of this. But yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me. Um, swag.